What's going on guys, here are having a great day today and today we are back with a brand new unboxing, that's right, a new release coming from all the anime. This was one of my favourite anime films of last year, 2022, and that is Pompo the Cinephile Blu-ray Collector's Edition. I cannot wait to open this. Before I get into the unboxing though, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content. If you want to see plenty more unboxings like this in the future, then make sure you have your notification bell turned on as well. I'm going to go and unwrap this and I'll be back with you in a second. A few moments later. Alright, so I've taken it out of the packaging, so let us take a look at this edition. So on the front, you do have kind of the main poster, uh, I guess. For Pompo the Cinephile, you got Nyollywood in the background there, you got Pompo up here, you got Gene down here, and then all the other characters as well. And as you can see, if I kind of get some light on it, we've got some spot gloss on all of the characters there, like here, down here as well. Really awesome, and then otherwise it's like a kind of dry matte uh, feel to the cover down here. You do have the Pompo the Cinephile logo, and as you can see, that is spot glossed as well. Moving on to the spine, we do have... Pompous Cinephile logo upside down and once again that is spot glossed on there and then on the back we do have a, another kind of image from I think one of the posters which once again got lots of characters and stuff and that is spot glossed too and I really really like that I just I just love like the design of this I, I love everything about Pompo the Cinephile it is one of my favorite anime films of last year I think my second favorite actually and it's definitely drew a rewatch I love films about making films so to kind of inject the anime essence into that makes for a really fun and unique film. Take a look at this leaflet, a bit of paper on the back. So as per usual, you do get um, screenshots, uh, like shots, images, whatever, from the film with really gorgeous animation from Clap, who don't really come to mind as like an anime studio that have done a lot. I can't think of anything else they've done, but they did a great job uh, with this film. The runtime is 90 minutes, which that is one of my favorite details about the film. If you watched it, you will understand that reference. And then as for bonus stuff, it includes a 52 page booklet, which we'll take a look at in a second, an audio commentary by director and crew, which I think I'm gonna have to check that out because that'd be really cool. Uh, feature length storyboards, once again, that'll be really cool to look at. Trailers, TV spots, character design gallery, so pretty basic stuff and it is just one Blu-ray disc inside. I gotta say, I actually really like this Blu-ray case because it's not got like the stuff on it. So as you can see, it kind of goes from one side to the other. So if I open it out, you do have a shot of Nollywood, which I think is really cool and it fits nicely into there. Um, on the inside, exactly the same in there. Uh, it's the same artwork that's on the front, I think. There might be some slight differences, maybe it's reversible. It's difficult to say. Oh, so one's day and one's night. So this one in here is the nighttime, the Hollywood. This one is the daytime, uh, which I think is actually a pretty cool detail as well. So like I said, it is reversible cover art. If you want to have the day or the night, whichever you want. And then we have really nice, really nice disc artwork, which is once again, the main poster. And uh, I, I just love it. I think it looks great. It's a you know, really great disc artwork. Very simplistic, of course, but I'm glad that all the anime have actually been giving disc artwork rather than kind of go in the direction of some other studios where they just throw on the logo and it's like a blue disc or whatever. To me, that's boring. I like that kind of stuff much more. And then we have uh, the booklet, which has got stuff in. Uh, I think it did say it's an art booklet. Yeah, so it's got, um, I guess, storyboard kind of stuff, details, uh, Q&A kind of stuff with um, director and crew, so it's a round table talk. So it's really cool to look through. Uh, I can see it kind of has something about the music as well, technical director, uh, director and screenplay stuff, uh, act, the um, the cast, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, the typical stuff you would expect, but it would be really cool to uh, hear about all this. Um, most of the time I don't read these kind of things, but I think for this film, I, I'm just interested in like the behind the scenes thought process behind everything. Editing Gene and then director gene now to get on to the big question is this collector edition of pompo the cinephile worth it is it worth paying the 30 pound for the simple answer is no because there is a standard edition blu-ray and all the stuff that i listed about like the audio commentary and the um storyboards and stuff they are probably all included in the standard edition anyway so paying like double the price for essentially this little buckler here in a nice case it's probably not worth it 
if you enjoyed the film as much as I did, which uh, in case you couldn't tell, I loved the film, then sure, you know, it's a nice addition to have. It's a film that I really, really did enjoy. And I think in the future, when I pick up these collect edition things, I'm going to be very selective or a lot more selective than I usually am with them. So as someone who loved the film, I think it's worth it because it looks really cool. If you're just a casual enjoyer of the film or, you know, you haven't seen it before, just get the standard version because, like I said, it's like half the price. And there is nothing super special included in here that you probably couldn't find out online anyway. But that was my unboxing of the Blu-ray Collector's Edition of Pompo the Cinephile. Before I get out of here, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content and want to see plenty more of these unboxings in the future. Above all, also, I want to hear from you guys, so head on down to the comment section below and let me know what do you think of Pompo the Cinephile if you've seen it. Do you plan on getting the Collector's Edition, which I've just unboxed, or just the standard Blu-ray? As always, Thank you so much for tuning into MChat today, and I'll see you all in the next video.